With the increase in the need of IP addresses, we need proper information or identification for each IP address, that is IPv4 version and IPv6 version, which is the best IP address for our requirement. To do so, this video will help us to identify it. Hi guys and welcome to yet another trusting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now let's take a look at the agenda for today's video. For today's video, we will understand what is IPv4, continuing with what is IPv6 addresses. And in the end, we will look at differences between IPv4 and IPv6. Let's take a look at the first heading, that is IPv4 addresses. The first version of an IP address to be developed was based on 32-bit binary format that counts roughly around 2 to the power 32 bits of total IP addresses in IPv4 format, which was sufficient at the initial phase of network requirement, but is somewhat lacking according to the current advancement in the network technology. The addresses in this IP ranges from 0 to 225 in terms of zeros and ones with four octets, where each of them is separated by a period. This is an example for an IPv4 IP address, where the first three parts represent the network ID, and the last part represents the host ID. Using the IPv4 address as a reference, we can identify IPv4 addresses from IPv6 addresses. Now let's move on to the next topic that is IP classes. IP classes are designed to allow easy and efficient assignment of IP addresses to a network. Depending on class size, we have five different IP classes in a network that are named as A, B, C and D. For the first part, we have class A that accommodates network with a large number of network hosts where the first bit in the octet is always 0 with number value ranging from 0 to 127. Then we have class B which can fulfill the requirement for a moderate number of network hosts. The lead bit is 1 and 0 and network ID ranges from 128 to 191. Then we have class C which can allocate an IP address for low number of network hosts where the first three bits of the network ID is 1, 1 and 0, ranging from 192 to 223. Through the above three classes, that is class A, B and C, we can easily identify and assign addresses to a network host. Moving on, we have class D, where it is used for multicasting. That means it is used to send multiple signals at the same time from a single host. For example, used in video streaming, where the lead bit is 111 and 0, with network ID ranges from 224 to 239. And then we have class E, where the IP bits for this is reserved for research purpose only, where the IP addresses ranges from 240 to 255. Moving on, let's take a look at some of the features for IPv4 version addresses, where the first is the memory required for storing IPv4 version addresses in a system is very low. Then we have IPv4 version addresses apply connectionless protocol for sharing data and providing the best effort in delivery. Moving on, we have stacking option for IPv4 addresses. That means in IPv4 version, it allows to create a multiple network over a single host, which allows different hosts to connect to it. Moving on, we have IPv4 version addresses being the earliest IP design are applicable to most of the network devices and system for connecting to the internet. So it is supported by many devices. Then we have IPv6 addresses. Let's take a look. 
With the increase in the need for an IP address, the IPv4 version addresses are somewhat unable to complete the requirements of the network host. So the need for IPv4 version arose, which is based on a 128-bit address size, which is sufficient for a very long time. That is approximately 320 undecillion IP addresses in version 6. This type of IPv version is designed of 4 hexadecimal digits and 8 sets, with each block containing 16 bits separated by a colon. Moving on, let's take a look at some of the features for IPv6 version addresses. Where the first is, IPv version 6 addresses provides an integrated security protocol for the network, that is, Internet Protocol Security, IPsec. Then we have, it allows its application to extend in various services according to the need of the network. It also allows address configuration to be stateful that uses DHCP server for network settings and stateless that applies auto configuration settings. IPv6 addresses also allow some methods to convert IPv4 addresses to IPv6 addresses which is according to the requirement of the host or the network. Moving on, let's take a look at the differences between IPv4 version addresses and IPv6 version addresses. This heading would allow us to choose a best IP address that we can decide for a network. Let's take a look at the first difference that is address and performance. In accordance to the address size, IPv4 version is composed of 32-bit address length and is the fourth version of the Internet Protocol. For IPv6, we have the address size is 128-bit long and is the latest version of the Internet Protocol. The second difference is on the basis of address field type. IPv6 addresses are based on numeric data with four fields each separated by a period, whereas for IPv6 addresses are based on alphanumeric type data with 8 fields each separated by a colon. The next difference is based on address configuration. In IPv4 version addresses, a manual setting for the network is required along with the DHCP configuration settings, whereas in case of IPv6 version addresses, the network setting is based in accordance to the system's requirement and it also supports auto configuration setting for the system. Moving on, we have the number of addresses in each IP. In case of IPv4, the total number of addresses are nearly 4 billion addresses. Whereas in case of IPv6 version, we have 320 undecillion addresses. Now let's take up a quiz to understand what we did so far. And the question is, identify the correct form of IPv4 version address in the given options. And the options are, you can give your answers in the comment section below. Let's move on to the next difference, that is address security and functioning. IPv4 version addresses do not provide any security function for the network. Whereas in case of IPv6 addresses, integrated internet security protocol that is IPsec is responsible for the security of the network. The next difference is encryption and authentication settings. IPv4 version does not provide any encryption or authentication services for the network. IPv6 addresses do provide mandatory encryption and authentication services for its addresses. Moving on, we have address routing and performance. IPv4 version follows routing protocol that is RIP for network configuration and is preferred over IPv6 version. And in case of IPv6, it does not follow any routing protocols and it uses static routes for network functioning. Now that we are completed 
with the differences between IPv6 and IPv4, we can easily identify the IP address we want to choose for our network. With this, we have reached the end of the video. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.